Travis Wayne Goodsell. While uh, I'm saving the uh, last video I just did uh, and then uploading it for you, I discussed uh, a criticism to Mormons about how Mormons believe that the prophets are smarter than every other Mormon, uh, if not smarter than everybody. And thus, Mormons would therefore believe that they're smarter than me. And so, if that were to be true, if the leaders of the church are smarter than I am, what does the consequences of that mean? Well, it means that they're holding back. They're not giving us necessary information. Amos 3.7 tells us that they're supposed to reveal things for us, to warn us of upcoming danger. In the times of the Gentiles, I went over it from Luke. There's danger coming, and the prophets are silent about it. If they know more than I do, if they know more than Luke, then they're purposely withholding information that is essential for our survival and for the upcoming exodus. That's what it means by the return to, uh, uh, most people consider it the return to Missouri. That's the exodus. There's no need to exodus a place such as Utah if Utah is righteous, you leave wickedness. That's you leave the world of wickedness behind and go unto Zion. So why would we need to leave Utah? Well, leave it to Mormons, because they're smarter than me. There will be two groups. <laughs> there will be those who go back to Missouri as a secret mission to build it <laughs> of the Adam on Diamond priesthood meeting and then there will be those left behind uh, isn't that a Christian movie <laughs> left behind uh, isn't it the guy with on the the Facts of Life kid? Can't remember. Um, but anyway. So many loud vehicles. <clears throat> and so, yeah, if, if I'm wrong and the prophets are smarter than me, they're putting our lives in danger. They've already done that. They didn't warn us about coronavirus. As Mormons tried to create that he warned us after it happened. <laughs> oh, yeah, he said he was he was saying that we'll never forget this April conference. Sure enough, coronavirus, we'll never forget it. <laughs> that did not protect us from the virus, did it? We got it. We're now breaking records. We just had an emergency alert given to everybody but me yesterday. They don't have me in their system. I, that, I don't understand why I missed. <laughs> I find out by going to the coronavirus site. I just, I warned you about coronavirus. I warned you before I knew about a coronavirus that something was coming. And uh, sure enough, here it was. And then I was the one who told you, you need to stay home. If your business extorts you, fight, get, quit. Don't be extorted. And I know it's going to be tough because the government, Herbert, forced us into the position of going to work or not having any money, not having supplies. 
as Nelson in that April conference uh, was it two or three times at least two talks that speakers said that we Mormons must suffer Wow I just, how do I get through to you Mormons I mean they're literally murdering you and you still remain loyal to them they are torturing you punishing you and you still remain loyal to them that's beyond Stockholm Syndrome I mean that's a brainwashing at a whole nother level of atrocity but if I'm smarter than the prophets which yes I am but if then Nelson from General Conference let God prevail <laughs> oh my god oh my god do you understand he has no keys of the priesthood he's the leader of the church in the office of Moses did you know that I bet you didn't <laughs> he has the keys of the kingdom Travis oh yeah uh-huh read that portion in the Doctrine and Covenants read it to preach <laughs> that was it it was not the keys of the kingdom to rule it was to preach Brigham Young exalted himself and Joseph Smith condemned him twice at least that we know of <clears throat> let God prevail oh my god that was a softball question that he was asking and he didn't even know it he went and asked and then they told him the wrong thing <laughs> it was a softball question what's the definition of Israel what does it mean why is Jacob being turned into Israel it was a softball question. The answer is given in the Torah. <laughs> All real Jewish scholars know this answer. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, so yeah. If he's actually smarter than me, and he does know the real definition of Israel, he's deceiving you. He's playing you for stupid and purposely deceiving you. This let God prevail thing, that's all a con then, if he's smarter than me. So take your pick. Are the prophets smarter than me? Or am I smarter than them? We can't be equally smart. It's one or the other or none. either he's wrong I'm wrong or we're both wrong take your pick Mormons take your pick